optimal scoreline in the end, but it wasn't an easy match, was it? What did you think of it? I never expected it, no. I thought um, we started the game probably the best first half that we played all season. And I think we were unbelievable. Everything flowed, we were super composed on the ball, really aggressive without the ball. We generated so many chances, could have gone three, four, five easily. Um, and we didn't, we scored one, and uh, and then credit to Bournemouth as well. They changed a few things, they created us some issues, and the game become a little bit more open, something that we wanted to avoid. Um, but within that game as well, we resolved certain situations in the right way, and we were very efficient in front of goal um, to score the, the goals and, and maintain another clean sheet. It's only natural at this stage of the season, but the second half, until Trossard got that second goal, it was pretty tight, it looked a bit nervy at times. Yes, because we're one nil, and with the quality of the opponents that we play, uh, you have to go and navigate through those moments. And we knew that if you score two, three, four in the first half, obviously that's a different game. We didn't, so you don't. You better be so good at managing those moments. Michael Sky. Hi, Mikel. Hi. Uh, David Raya, Golden Glove, Premier League Golden Glove this season, so it just shows how important he's been for you. What do you think of the incident with him and, and Dominic Solanke? Do you, do you think that was the right decision? Yeah, really, please. Uh, I think it's a, a huge success for the team uh, in this league to, to achieve that uh, with a few games to go uh, still and uh, with the numbers that we are producing. And it gives us a huge foundation um, to be closer to winning trophies and winning titles and the contribution from everybody, including David, obviously. Um, really good. James, CBS. Just picking up on that as well, you had Declan Rice, man of the match performance, Kai Havertz probably pushed him close. How high have your summer signings raised the, the ceiling at Arsenal this season? Yes, a lot. Um, but this is what we're looking for. And if we spend the money, we better do it wisely and in the most effective way. And we are really happy with the recruitment that uh, that we had. It had a big impact in the team. It has raised not only the level of the team, but the level of the rest of the um, of the team as well. And you see today we had some big performances for a lot of individuals. And we want to be at that stage. You need that. And on Kai specifically, he looks like he's having so much fun on the pitch. Is it the same off the pitch? Is it? it was unbelievable today, honestly. Everything that he did, how intelligent, the timing, the moments, how he keeps the ball, the way he goes to the press, how he links with play, understanding of the game. It was unbelievable today. And Sam? Okay, I can ask you about two um, incidents which involved the AR. Firstly, the decision to disallow the Bournemouth goal, what did you think of that? But also, much earlier in the game, the decision not to look at Christie's challenge yeah. on, um, on Saka. The honest answer is I haven't seen any of the incidents because I knew you were going to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> so I did it on purpose. The analyst said, do you want to watch it? And I said, no, because then I'm going to tell the truth. I haven't seen them. So I cannot come. I can't have an impression on the one on David, the foul I cannot see because it's, it's too far. On the one on Bukayo, is that on purpose or no? I don't know. So difficult for me to, to judge. Guys, Hi, Miguel. Uh, yeah. You spoke earlier just about the managing those, those moments. Yeah. Do you think that's just a case of the team being a year older and a year wiser? Is there something else going on? Yeah, if a year is enough to do that, but for some teams it takes in five, ten years to achieve that. But uh, yeah, at the end, is uh, we're trying to do the right things. Uh, the energy and the commitment and the boys put in in everything that we do is unbelievable, and hopefully it will pay off. Hi, Miguel. Hi. Uh, about Miguel, I was reading his words on the match program today. He has matured a lot this season. What have you seen from him? Well. I think the level of consistency uh, compared to last year is very, very similar. Um, probably there are areas in, in the game that he's become more effective, I would say. Uh, I see a different edge on him, the way he competes, not the way he plays, but the way he competes. And he loves winning more than three months ago, six months ago, a year ago. And that's something that now hopefully is in his system. Alex, BBC. Hi. Uh, will you watch the Man City game later? Or yes. I will be there sitting with my kids and my family. <laughs> yeah. Okay, last couple. Shirt Sorry? Shirt Shirts? No, pyjamas, pyjamas. <laughs> Comfy pyjamas, I think. And the Havertz penalty, were you happy with that as well? The, the, the... If I was happy when I saw the decision, very happy. And I was happier when Bukayo scored the goal. The right decision? Well, I don't know. Uh, Kai is not someone that dies, but I haven't seen the, the image. OK, last couple. James, Athletic. Hi, Mikel. Hi. Uh, another goal and assist today for Declan Rice. Obviously, you're a massive believer in his talent, but have you been surprised by 
how many contributions have you been able to make in the final third? Yes, we thought that that was going to be very related to his um, location on the pitch and the space that he was going to occupy. But then something else is to do it in this league. And uh, and he's done it credit to him, even if we have changed him uh, position position, something that is not easy as a player to to adapt to that. So I think he deserves a lot of credit for, for doing that. When you've got a player like Deck who's so good defensively, but then has this other side of his game, he provides threat, he can make runs in behind, score goals. Is it difficult as a manager to decide, you know, what you, what the best position to put him in is? Yes, but that's why sometimes you have to think as well about the the relationship and within those units, um, what comes out of that, and is that better than using a certain other things? And and that's related as well to to the moment that a player is in the season, and as well, <laughs> obviously, um, with the opponents that you play, uh, what kind of game you can imagine to to try to be more of a threat. Want to hear from B comes? Hi. Um, today. Thank you. Very excited. Um, we've done it for nine months, nine and a half months now. So it's two weeks ago. Um, we really wanted to get it done. We are closer today than we were uh, yesterday, and uh, and hopefully we can bring that that side to here. Okay, well, thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.